cool. All right, peoples, we have a, a big workout today. It's our Saturday extravaganza. We have the option of some bands, the option of one dumbbell, or of course, if you don't have bands at home, you can always substitute dumbbells. So we have a couple strength sections and then a uh, cardio section at the end. So we're gonna get warmed up here, starting with the yoga plex. As soon as I get this set here. Cool, try to wave me down. If you have any questions, I'm really bad about seeing them, but I will try my best. So we're gonna start over in our high plank. Yoga flexing our way into the warm up. Okay. Doing a downward dog, a big spider man, and our reach up towards the side. And we're just gonna take that side to side.
go all the way to the ground, or you can just stop where you need to stop. Awesome, one more each side. We're gonna take those feet out wide, arms out wide. We're gonna keep the feet wide the whole time and dip it side to side, reach towards that instep or your calf. Trying to get a little into that leg, good inner thigh stretch. We'll go four, and three, and two, last one. Wrap it up with some butt kicks. Just try to kick your own butt. You can keep it lower impact like I'm doing right now, or if you wanna kick it up just a notch, you can jog in place and kick your butt. It's up to you. And four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Good deal. Alrighty. We're going into our first circuit. I'm just going to give you a couple different load options for your first exercise. So bear with me a second. So I'm going to grab a band. You can use an NT loop or a super band. So option one is to actually just put that over the shoulder of your front leg and do some lunges like that. If you want to add a different load on top of that, you can grab a dumbbell and add a goblet hold. So you can use one or the other or both, or you know, in the past we've also done the version where we stand on it like this. So you can also do that. So we're gonna hit 40 seconds on each side with whatever resistance combination you wanna do there at home. From there, we're gonna take our band of whatever you have or dumbbells. I'm gonna step on it. We're gonna do right, left, and then both together for that 40 seconds. So if you have dumbbells, you just got one in each hand. Doing the same exact thing. Our third and final exercise of the circuit is going to be a plank up plus an ankle tap. So you can just alternate the ankle you tap to, or if you want to break up the plank ups a little bit more, you can do two ankle taps in the same uh, exercise. All right, so we're gonna get started here with our first one, the reverse lunge. You can go any which way with your resistance. I thought I'd change up that a little bit today. So if you wanna grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell, or a kettlebell <laughs> we're gonna step back with our non-banded foot for 40 seconds. Good. Now if you have a longer band like the NT loop and you want to loop it around your opposite shoulder to make it a little longer, you can also do that. Woo. And like I said, you can use one or the other of these resistances or just body weight. That's also an option. All right, we're gonna quickly switch it up to the other side. And five seconds to spare, oh yeah. All right, 
taking it back with that other foot. <laughs> John's having some bad malfunctions over there. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> Good. I like to. I like the variety I'm seeing out there of load options. That's fun. Getting there. We got ten more seconds. And rest. Cool. All right, so taking a band of some kind or your dumbbells, we're gonna stand on it now. I just have yellow so it shows up better. <laughs> so we're gonna hinge at the hips. We go right, we go left, and then we go both. Good, good. Yep. Keep that solid hip hinge going on. Hips pushing out behind you. Good stuff. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, all right. Headed down to the floor, plank up, plus an ankle tap or two in between each one. You got five seconds to get ready. I'm gonna start on my elbows. We're gonna walk it up to those hands and then reach across. So an option here is to rest those knees onto the floor for your plank up. If you need to take some load off, or you can elevate those hands. We've got 10 more seconds. Stay strong. And rest, good. All right, we're gonna hit that same circuit. Now you've been through it one time, you know what to expect. We got two more rounds. So we're going back to that reverse lunge. Up next, we're gonna put that up over the shoulder or you can loop both ends of it under, under your foot. Option to grab, ooh, some extra, extra stuff here. Coming up in five seconds, non-banded foot steps back. Here we go. We're fighting that band at the top of the motion and we're fighting the dumbbell at the bottom especially. Good, good. Keep that going, keep that going. You can also do, see how Becca's holding hers with both bands under the foot? You can also do it that way. Five seconds to go. And quick rest. Super, switch it up. Other side. In three seconds. All righty. You wanna keep that torso tall. Get as much range of motion as you safely can with each one. Looking good, guys. And rest. Cool. 
All right, go into our alternating row and then arms together. Gonna stand, stand on here, get a solid grip. Find your hip hinge. One arm, other arm, and then pull together. Keep that going. Almost there, three seconds. And rest. Cool. All right. Taking it down to plank up plus ankle reach. I'm going to start right on up down on my elbows. Up to the hands and reach across.
plank up combination with the ankle tap. Coming up in five seconds. Find your plank. Let's do it. Remember, you can always modify to the knees or elevate the hands. And rest. Good deal. Take a quick breather and grab some water. We're going to head on into our next circuit. I'm going to change the timer here really quickly. Okay. So up next, let me grab yellow just to show you. For 30 seconds, we're going to do a crossover lunge with a pull apart, all on that same side. If you want to progress, you can add a balance component. And then when we go to the other leg, we're gonna flip that band around to the back and we're gonna press it with our other side for 30 seconds. All right, and then we're gonna do a side plank. Each round, we're gonna change the side plank just a little bit. First round, we're gonna do a thread the needle, under and reach. Now you can also stack those knees or you can straighten the top leg. Those are modifications. All right, so it's just those two exercises, but each one gets a little complex. All right. So band, if you have a dumbbell, instead you could do some curls or some front raises instead. All right, so first side that we cross over to, we're gonna do a pull apart with it. Other side, we'll do a chest press. Doesn't matter which one you do as long as you change it up. <laughs> Good. I'm going to add a little balance knee, but you can also touch those toes down. This is just 30 seconds per side. Woo. And I'm doing that pull apart along with my lunge in this, in this variation. All right. Switch that band around to the back under your arms. And then we're gonna cross over lunge to the other side with your chest press instead. Same leg. Other leg. Yeah, this is going to the other side than the one we just did. We're just changing the arms. Ten seconds. And rest. Good. All right. We're going to take it down to the floor for side plank. I'm going to set up in the modified version first so you can see how my knees are bent. I'm going to reach through and reach up. Level two would be straightening out that top leg. And level three would be having both legs straight. My shirt is a little too droopy. You can't see my hips very well, but they're up off the ground. <laughs> All right, good. So we're gonna switch around to the other side. You got plenty of time to get there. 
Make sure your elbow is right underneath your shoulder when you set up for this. And we're gonna reach under and then reach up. Keep pushing the floor away. So we don't want to sink into that shoulder joint, do we? That does not feel good. All right, take a rest. We're going to hop it back up and go back to crossover lunge with pull apart. This is 30 seconds all to one side with pull apart. All right, pick a side to go to first. Next round, we'll go to the other side. Option here to lift that knee up, add a balance component to the drill. Awesome, good job guys. Some good balance out there. Betsy, I like your dumbbell option. That's awesome. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we're going to flip the band to the back and get ready to lunge to your other side with the press. Other side right here. Pressing that band forward at the bottom. Bands start to pack a punch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, five seconds. And rest. Also, in this round, I'm going to actually have my knee on the ground and I'm going to crunch my knee and my elbow together above my knee line. Let's give that a try. Crunch it and extend. Good, so as you can see, I'm not going forward. I'm going up above my hip line with my crunchy crunch. They're both fine, they're just different. All right, good work. We're gonna switch it up. Other side, bottom leg is bent, hips off the floor, and we're gonna crunch them together. Here we go. Good. If you have a hard time moving during your side plank, you can hold a static side plank instead. That's also great. It's good practice. And rest. Okay, round two is done. One round to go. We're going again. <laughs> With crossover lunge and pull apart. 30 seconds all to one side. Woo! Good. Pull apart. Option for your knee. Super, super. Three, two, one, woo! All right, I'm gonna flip that band around to the back. 30 seconds, go on the other way, other side with the leg, with the chest press. Second. 
hands were close. And rest. Okay, option to go crazy in this last one, people. I'm going to thread the needle and then lift the leg. Thread the needle, lift the leg. You can also do this with one knee down or if you want to progress, you can straighten both legs. That's hard with the leg lift. So do the option that you can do the best. Awesome. Shoulders are getting tired of all this. All right, we're gonna set up on the other side. You can have one leg straight or both. Do my little combination. Thread of the needle plus a lift. And you can have, you know, I have my feet scissored. You can also have your feet stacked. Either, either one is fine. I think stack feels a little harder, but it's up to you. <laughs> oh, and rest. Woo, that evil circuit is done, my friends. So that means that we are on to our cardio. <laughs> As if we haven't already been breathing kind of hard, right? All right, so we're gonna do four different drills for 30 seconds each. So up first, I'm gonna give a real brief rundown. We're gonna go for a pendulum. I'm gonna go four low, four high with the arms. So I'm weighting this leg, weighting this leg, and I'm just gonna bury those arms. Four down punches, four up punches. Exercise two, we're gonna go into a side to side hop. If you wanna do some jump rope arms, you can do that. Now if you wanna modify, you're just gonna take it side to side with a step instead of a hop. Exercise Three, we're gonna go, we did this yesterday, I think. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Option to progress, you can hop in between the two instead of step. <laughs> One more, lateral shuffle, punch across, lateral shuffle, punch across. Woo, what have I done to myself? Okay, we're gonna hit three rounds of this. Starting with our pendulum. Four punches low, four punches high. Let's try it out. Take it at your own pace as you get used to this one. This takes a little coordination. Coordination is good for your brain. It's a cognitive element that we need to keep going. Almost there. And rest. Yeah! Up next, two foot hops. You can do some jump roping, fake jump roping, or take a step side to side quickly without hopping. Let's try it out. I like jump roping as a cardio move. And you can jump rope without a jump rope. <laughs> and that way you never trip on it, huh? Almost there. Cool, rest. Our third one. Narrow to wide, narrow to wide. 
Coming up in three seconds. Here we go. Narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Option. Instead of stepping it side to side, you can do a hop. I'll try to show both so you keep them both in your brain. Three seconds. And rest. Up next, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Punch across. Coming up in five. Athletic stance, ready for anything? Let's do it. Make sure you don't trip on anything in your house. All hazards removed. Five seconds, you doing great. And rest, good. Going back around, four, low pendulum punch, four, high pendulum punch. Let's do it.
jump rope hops, two foot side to side, or one foot with a little scissor step. All right. Ten more seconds. Doing great. This is great for building bone and keeping bone mass. Rest. So solid weight bearing jumps. Landing well, of course. Up next, narrow to wide. All right, let's do it. Take a step, or you can take a hop. Both are good. Ooh, five seconds. And rest. Okay, my friends, last one. Lateral shuffle. Our final 30 seconds. We're gonna get into an athletic posture, ready for anything. Let's do it. Just grab your leg anywhere that um, feels good. I love this one because it hits two birds with one stone. Switch up to your other leg. Ankle, ankle, hamstring, hamstring. All right, one more stretch. We'll come into half kneeling to stretch the hip flexor and the quads. So you'll tuck your pelvis under. You're going to rock forward just a, a little bit, reach up and over. So you want to stretch all down here. This is also a great one if you've been sitting in your office chair for a while. Pop up and do this. Switch it up to your other side. Just get in that position, open up the hip and the quad. Let's 
And as always, you know what to do. You gotta pat yourself on the back while you're up there for a job well done. That was a bit of a doozy. That was a bit of a doozy. So, great job, I'm proud of you, and I'm so glad that you were here. <laughs> Have you. a great weekend, everybody. I like seeing your happy faces. Thanks, Robin. Thanks, guys, we'll see Thank you soon. Thank you, Davis got one question for you. Yeah. When you did the stretch of the last one, mm -hmm. is your up knee, which arm goes with your up knee when you back um, that? You're going to have the arm of your down knee. Of your down knee. Yeah. For the up knee then. Yeah. And over the up knee. Over the up knee. Good. Yep. Yep. Thank Good you. Question. That was the workout. Marital problems here. <laughs> I couldn't problems. see without my glasses either how to do that stretch. <laughs> I know. I know. It's hard. On anyway, it's a good workout. I'm like dripping. <laughs> Clean up an aisle four. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. All right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>